Welland Stadium will have a new tenant for 2019. The Welland Jackfish will open play in the Intercounty Baseball League next May. The new team's name and logo were unveiled at a press conference at the stadium this week. We're really excited as a group that we put together to come down here and, uh, and put on a show for people. Why the move out of Burlington? Uh, you know, it comes down to a lot of things. We've had some struggles with uh, the city up there and, and different things that we wanted that they couldn't provide. And, and uh, the stadium here in the city, they, they can provide everything. So um, that's primarily why we moved. And we feel the fan support here would probably be a little bit better and things like that. So This is a truly great stadium. And as you say, underutilized, it now becomes the third biggest capacity stadium in the IBL. So this will be, besides, in my personal opinion, besides the Bat Park in London, which is a cathedral to baseball, this will be the second best stadium in all the league, maybe in the first, some people's opinion. It's a great turnout today for this press release on such a cold, cold fall day. Did that surprise you? Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, it didn't. I, uh, I knew there would be a lot of people here, and I was uh, super excited to see who was going to show up because uh, the response has been tremendous so far. Rich, you're moving down here from Burlington as a pitcher for this new team, the Jackfish. How do you feel about the move? Yeah, it's pretty excited. Um, something different to look forward to now. I'm making a trip down. It'll be fun. This is your first time in the facility? Yep, it is, and it's, it's pretty nice. It's uh, probably second best park in the league now, and it's looking forward to it. Big step up from what you had in Burlington. Big step up, big step, yep. Yeah. As the commissioner, what can you say about the competitiveness of this league? Well, the league's very competitive. I mean, this is my third year as commissioner, and even in my three years, you know, I've seen a real change. You know, we had a pitcher in Barry in 2017. You know, he made it to AAA with the Blue Jays this year. You know, so he signed with the Blue Jays and, you know, went to spring training in 18, made it all the way to Buffalo in one season. You know, we've got a pitcher in this league that two seasons ago was with the San Francisco Giants. So we do have some really good imports like that. Still, that said, it's primarily a working man's league that's augmented by three or four imports per team and an import in this league is somebody who's not who doesn't live in Canada so somebody from the United States or Cuba the Dominican Republic place like that those are imports we're really limited to four of them and uh, that's a model that's worked for this league for basically you know the last 40 50 years this league's 100 years old celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2018 and uh, it's one of the few leagues like that in North America that has gone, you know, uninterrupted for a century. We have four or five different uh, variations of the logo, but I think the colors work uh, with the area and, like, again, the waterway and things like that. So we're really excited uh, to start branding and getting that name out there. The Jackfish going to come out and be competitive right from their first season here? Well, in our opinion, we have to. We have to be competitive. So we're going to, we are actually, our, one of our other owners, uh, Jason McKay, he couldn't be here today. He's in Arizona. Um, but uh, one of his key things right now is to scout players. He's already starting. Um, we know we need to have a talented team. We can't have a, like it's last year, we had a bottom of the barrel uh, in the standings. So we want to be very competitive. And that's one thing we're definitely focusing on. The team will play 18 to 20 home games here at Welland Stadium on Thursday nights and Saturday afternoons with a couple of Sunday games thrown into the mix as well. Season's tickets are only $100 and are available at wellandjackfish.com. Reporting in Welland for The Source, I'm Mike Balsam.